like to share with you is my philosophy defending pick and rolls. The first way defensively we can play a pick and roll is what we call the blitz and go over. And what we're looking to do is stop the ball handler from turning the corner. Defensively, we want to force him out to half court to slow him down from having an aggressive angle to the rim. The guard defending the basketball wants to make sure he doesn't get screened and gets thin and, as we say, gets over it as his teammate slows the ball handler down. Okay, what we're going to work on now is pick and roll defense, and we're going to take it from the half court situation here. Drew's going to have the basketball right here. He's going to make an entry pass to the wing. As the ball is entered here now, our good defensive stance is we want to not give up the middle of the floor, have our right hand up, and force the player to drive baseline. We never want to let players get to the middle. That's where it forces rotations. As Drew starts to go away now, and his defender's going to see the ball and his man, we're going to have a pick and roll take place. As the pick and roll starts to take place, the first thing we must do as a good defensive team is start to talk and stay connected to the man setting it. So now I'm taking Scott's place, here it comes, and the first way we're gonna play the pick and roll is what we call a blitz and get over. So here comes the pick and roll. Once Jason hears Scott call out, screen right, screen right, Jason's job now is to change his stance, get his left forearm into the defender and force him to the screen. As Scott is coming to play it, Scott's job is to blitz out and in theory force him out to half court. So as Scott blitzes out, he's forcing him over and out to half court. Uh, my job is to not get screened and not let this screen take place. Our rule is as Scott goes and plays him, I am going under my man, but over the screen. And I'm now playing the basketball. As this is taking place, what we will call our rotation man is going to zone out and put his head almost under the rim. He is now our rotation man who will play the role guy. So as Jason is now getting over the screen, Scott is doing his job blitzing out. Now he must make a decision and he's listening to him. It'll be on his call. As the guard comes off, coach is going to recover back, seeing the basketball and be ready to play and zone out. Now what we teach Jason is 80% of passes out of pick and rolls are air passes. So as the pick and roll is happening, Jason's hands are gonna be hot and try to get a deflection on this pass. He wants to block his vision. This would be called our blitz and get over pick and roll defense. It's very important that talking early on the defensive end and our hands are very active. Here we go, Drew. Ball, 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 ball. Here's the blitz. Jason's high. And we're playing, and we're now in a good defensive stance. And we're back into a three on three situation. Now, let's take the, uh, come back to the pick and roll, take it again. And as you notice, these guys played it well. As coach blitzed out, another way we can play this, here he comes, he blitzes, he starts to get back, he rolls. Let's say right here, the pass beats him. He now rotates. Coach's job is to get inside, and this is what we call our X out rotation out of a pick and roll series. And it's all predicated on him. Again, ball pressure is key. And the reason is the ball pressure is allowing our defense an extra second to get back and not get beat on a layup. Good hands, here's our talk. Jason's there, he X's, we're inside, and we're all matched up. And we didn't get hurt. And again, in three on three, it's great to drill this because it forces rotations and it forces all your defenders to make plays.